Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the StarCraft 8-in-1 heat press. 143 Vinyl was nice enough to send this to me, so we are literally going to be unboxing it. I haven't even looked at it at all yet. So what's really cool about this heat press is it's an 8-in-1. It does a lot of different things. Um, it is a heat press. It is a mug press, so you can do 9 ounce, 11 ounce, 12 ounce, and it has a tubular mug press attachment with it as well. You can do hats. Um, it has an 8 inch plate with silicone pad, 10 inch, one pair of strong grip gloves, and one rectangle silicone pressing pad. So let's go ahead and open this up and we are also going to be pressing with it as soon as we get it heated up as well. All right, as we're open, opening this up, this is the mug attachment and these are the gloves that go with it, which are awesome to have because if you're doing any sort of cups, you definitely need those because you, it will burn the crap out of your hands. Okay, so this is the hat attachment, I believe. Here is another mug attachment. <laughs> Gonna have to help me. Look how cute this little press is. And then we have another, and then we have another attachment here. So the way that these attachments are going to work is, if you wanted to heat one of these up, um, you're going to unscrew it right here. So this is where the heat press is plugged in at, and it's going to get obviously the heat and everything. So you're going to unscrew this and screw in all the different attachments, so that'll heat that up instead of the heat press. So we're gonna go ahead and heat up the heat press part and we're going to press a shirt. Another thing I forgot to mention and is this is also a swing away press. So when you open it, look how cool that is. I've actually never had a swing away press. I've only had the ones that pull out on the bottom. So that is super nifty. And then here's the two little pads that you've got to um, set your shirt down on. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and it's got the plug right here. We're going to plug this in and get it heated up and we are going to press a cute little sweatshirt for one of my daughters. So the power button is over here on the side. We're gonna flick that on. All right, so we're gonna let it heat up and get our shirt ready to press. We're gonna do this little sweatshirt here. This is 100% polyester. You can get these from LR Blanks. Um, tell Nassim that I sent you, she's awesome. So she has a lot of little kid and adult 100% polyester shirts, which is awesome. So you don't have to bleach. You can just sublimate right on there and the colors are gonna be awesome. So right now I'm just kind of figuring out pressure and the best way I wanna lay the shirt and everything like that. So this is where your pressure gauge is gonna be and I'm just gonna play with that a little bit to make sure that we have enough pressure on our shirt. All right, so I've decided to kind of set the pressure where it's a little bit, not like too hard to push it down, but a little bit of um, resistance on it, just so that I know that we're gonna have enough pressure. And as you can see, it's still heating up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my butcher paper ready. And then this is the design that I'm going to use. It says Mata Beauty because I'm gonna be starting my own beauty line. So I'm gonna make my daughters one of a sweatshirt with one of my logos on it. So it'll be super cute. So this is the two pieces that are used for the ball cap. So if you wanted to sublimate on that, you can do that. And then this part right here is the tumbler and mug press. So all you're gonna do is plug this piece in and the heat press telling us it is ready to go. Um, you can put a tumbler in there and press a design. Obviously you can't do a full wrap, but you could do a little design on there. And then with these other attachments, you can do a mug. All right, so this heat press is ready. We're gonna go ahead and press our design on there. So we're gonna take our design, line it up. Of course we're using these tees paper, the best sublimation paper there is out there. All right. Swing it back around. My only thing is having to line something up straight, like with the swing away. That's the only part I don't care about, but it is kind of cool the way that you can swing it around and have that full area to work in. And it is gonna count down here from 60 seconds.
All right, so that's how much ink is left on the paper. All right, so as you can see, this press is perfect for little projects, um, like the tumblers, and I would personally use it for little kid shirts, um, toddler shirts, things like that, because it is smaller, and sometimes using those big presses with those tiny shirts is a little bit difficult, so I definitely use it for that. I think this is a perfect um, starter kit for somebody who is just starting out. They wanna see if they like pressing shirts, pressing tumblers, pressing mugs. I think it'd be great for that. Um, so if you wanna check this press out, I have a link down below. And thank you so much 143 Vinyl for sending me this awesome press. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.